versus Cortex. It's gonna be a fun little matchup. These characters are just gonna rely entirely on their specials. The hydrant setups on just the fruit can be really creative, but uh, I think the same applies for duck hunts. That can yeah. and that frisbee are just yeah. The cans are really good. The cans are really good combo breaker. Uh, I like it's so good at like getting you out of. It's basically like snake grenade, except you can you know kind of maneuver it a little bit. And then frisbee, if you get if he were to get like hit, he can't like if you were to get hit while throwing the frisbee, it would just drop and you'd get hit by it. So it's. They're both really good projectiles. Duck Hunt's, you know, a really good character. And we'll see, you know. These are both super complex fighters. Hmm. Since they're both in the arena, let's see this. Yeah. Uh. Hydrate. Versus Cortex. Game one. This is either going to be a lot of fun to watch, or it's going to be a lot of camping. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Three, so yeah, this match could definitely go two ways. Oh, we're seeing... Uh, darn, I forgot the name. Oh, I think I think that uh, the down B for Duck Hunt got buffed, kind of, or changed, I guess. I don't know if it was a buff. But the, gun, the gunners, like, drop to the ground now because of the Steve patches, and I don't know why. But it, it's a pretty cool new thing, so we'll see if we'll, uh, Duck will use that a little bit. Doing a really good job with that can, though. Oh yeah, we're seeing them just uh, playing around with it. Mhm. Mm oh, we're seeing Cortex uh, just grabbing Duck Hunt and just throwing him to the other side. Uh, Cortex did not get the tech right there, but recovery is not an issue. Yeah, he's not high enough for it to matter really yet. Yeah, that drop right there, those gunners didn't used to do that. Uh-huh. Cortex okay. uses the Galaxian. That was... Yeah, that was a nice roll rate with the F-Smash. And F-Smash killing so early! Yeah. Pac-Man uh, Pac smash attacks aren't necessarily the fastest, but they really hurt, and they also just have a lot of frames. Yeah, uh, Pac-Man's F-Smash is stronger than Limit Cross Slash. Not that it matters really, Limit Cross Slash sucks, but... It's still crazy. We're seeing these uh, cans just not working in Duck's favor. They keep exploding in this face. Yeah. Cortex, Cortex getting in between Duck Hunt and the can. Really, really pressuring him well. Because Duck can't, can't do too much without Ooh. that can. Oh, what a great con. That was a great ledge guard right there. I don't think that was even on. I don't think that was even techable. It was techable, I think. But I, I mean, I wouldn't have been able to tech that. That was crazy. Huh. I wonder where that bell went. <laughs> I lost it as well. Oh, we see him pick oh, up the nice cherry. Nah, no, he's not gonna do anything <laughs> interesting. It's always just funny to see uh, people pick up Pac-Man fruits because it's just kind of unordinary. Oh, Ooh. the extension from that down B definitely gave him gave him a little bit of what he needed right there. <laughs> we just saw him throw the can off the stage. Not really doing yeah. much good there. Trying to get the two frame with it, I'm sure. Cortex is very mindful of the can, but not over respecting it. Like getting in between duck hunt and cans are really sound strategy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's very hard for Pac-Man to just kind of approach someone and play course quarters, but Cortex is really pulling this off. Yeah, he's doing everything. <laughs> this fruit pressure too. Never has Cherry been so scary to me. I was always more of a fan of orange, actually. Yeah, you like you like orange, dude. Fast option. Yeah. Nice up smash. Okay. We haven't really seen Cortex pull out the Fiji. Seen the Galaxian again. Duck's playing this really well. Playing a lot more patient. These cans are hitting, you know. Not hitting himself either. Not hitting oh, himself. Yeah. The stun, the forward air. It's not an optimal punish, but still good. Oh, we're seeing that apple drop down. I don't Ooh, think he uses apple quite a bit, actually. Just just bouncing bouncing around the stage. I wonder if he's gonna yeah, keep doing that. It might be a good uh, good idea for this stage because you know the platforms just might mess around with Duck's head a little. Yeah. 
trying to get that kill with the side B. Not gonna work Ooh. for him. Okay. That can's finally gonna kill. Duck, Duck could possibly bring this back. Oh, that cherry. I, I thought Cortex was gonna set up something deadly with that trampoline. Or something. He, yeah, I think Duck just did a great job of avoiding it. Oh, and he got him with the got him with the hydrant, dude. There's so much to watch for when you're playing a matchup like this. Like when you're trying to manage your can frisbee or can frisbee, you know, Galaxian, all these different projectiles with fire hydrant. You know, I'm sure it'd be a lot. Yeah, that was super creative from Cortex. Mm -hmm. Different move sets, same play style. Cortex just kind of overpowered him in that situation. Yep. <laughs> Let's see that killer right there. Yeah. That up here was really good. He was up high. The hitbox extension really helped him out. Uh, that, side, that side B coverage was really interesting. I've never really seen that in Pac-Man. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if stage switch is in place. Game two. Yes. Yes. I can see why you want this as Duck Hunt. None of these, I don't think any of these characters have wall jumps, if I recall. Uh, I think, I want to say Duck Hunt does, but I could be wrong. So there's no real benefit from these big walls here. No, I I mean more so the the angle the angles and where the platforms are, are pretty good for duck hunt. Ooh, that orange and that can did a lot of damage. Ooh, duck hunt did a great job turning or turning around that whole that that ledge guard situation. It was really good. Just I <laughs> Oh, we see Cortex with a bell. He's gonna pull off the trick. Oh, Ooh, that was nice. Stunned him with the bell and immediately down smashed. Yeah, when when Pac-Man's holding that bell, you gotta be extra careful, especially when uh, Hydrant's spitting water at you. Mm. Wasn't expecting to see too many tricks here. That was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. You weren't expecting it in this matchup. <laughs> I kind of wasn't. <laughs> I feel like when you see Pac-Man, you gotta kind of assume that you're gonna get a couple tricks. I've seen a lot of Pac-Man's play, so I just, I kind of assume the better. But yeah, it takes a lot of setup. Mm-hmm. That's up there, so good. It's a multi-hit, and the hitboxes are huge. Ooh, we're seeing Cortex going back to stage with that backwards side B. That was strange. Mm -hmm. That can is flying away and that back here, frankly, is going to kill. Yeah, Cortex is dancing right around these hitbox. Right around these hitboxes. Oh, we're seeing them use that down special a little more. Uh-huh. Just keeping track of that can. He's doing a great job of it, too. Like, not letting it over... Not over respecting the can but still giving it the respect it deserves. That down air is so good. For sure. Cortex Ooh. is just keeping on the pressure man. Is he he doesn't want duck to breathe. Yeah we're not really seeing the Cortex using the dash attack too much. It's it makes you pretty vulnerable although it does have some really good frame data. Yeah, I mean, it's minus two on shield. I don't know. I mean, to be fair, though, I guess Pac-Man mains are pretty predictable about what they do afterwards most of the time. Ooh. Ooh. He's hitting these side bees now. He's got the bell. He's going to do the yeah, setup again. <laughs> oh, he faked it. He faked the setup. That was really good. Because I thought he was going to do the setup for sure. And I think our friend here, Duck, was definitely expecting that, too. Oh, we're seeing him pick up the chair. He's going to try and use it a little. Ooh, that can is going to hurt Cortex a little. Cortex yeah. has a whole stock lead. He's He can be comfortable right now. Yeah, he's setting the pace right now, man. You know, he's pressuring when he wants to. And definitely not overextending. 
Explain this Cortex has that bell ready again. Let's see if he's gonna use it. No, he's going for a key, and unfortunately, he dies before he can even use him. Seeing them start out with the oh, okay. Just trying to just get getting that uh, catching that option, man, and just skimming the ground. That was a hook. really good fake out. Yeah, that was good. I thought he was gonna turn around. A unique way to start out the match after you die. Yeah, right? <laughs> I wouldn't have expected that if I was ducked too. It's hard it's hard playing Pac Man, man, because they always do crazy stuff and you're just like, oh well, I guess I just got hit by him throwing a bunch of stuff and sliding on the ground with his side B. I don't know. Character's funny. Azen says toast your honey buns. Warm buns are so good. Some wise advice. All right. They're all right. I mean, like, I, I feel like if you warm up most snacks, you'll get a better one. Like, if you warm up, like, com cosmic brownies or, like, you know, stuff like that, most of the time it's going to be better. Warm snacks are pretty good, but whenever you just bite into a cold snack, that brings back nostalgia. <laughs> so you prefer cold snacks, then? Um... Yeah, I think for the most part, yes. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to disagree with you, dog. I, I definitely think you know, warm, warm, almost any snack is gonna be better. Well, I mean, 